goody, what's goody, what's goody? You know this is your boy Andy Appleseed. Andy Appleseed TV is the name of the channel. Make sure you like, share it your boy with a comment. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button one time. We got the latest and greatest hip hop news in these YouTube streets. Let's get it in. Let's go. Welcome back to Andy Appleseed TV. Make sure you smack that like button on your way in. Let's jump straight into this live stream moment by Tyrese. Now, just recently went to the Breakfast Club and did an interview. In this interview, it seems like him and DJ Envy got into it. Envy actually said he wanted to box his mouth, but nobody really understood what it was all about. But we're going to get straight into it and break it down. In this live stream, Tyrese did address something. He mentioned that DJ Envy actually blocked him and his wife blocked him as well. Now, we all remember the time when DJ Envy was going through a meltdown after he got caught allegedly cheating with Erica Mena. Envy almost wanted to take his life and Tyrese was right there to help him out. He guided him through it, spoke to his wife. Lo and behold, they were back together. Some way, somehow, Tyrese and Gia Envy's wife actually kept in contact. If you know DJ Envy, you know DJ Envy. He might have been in his feelings about this whole situation, but Tyrese said he would never ever cross those boundaries. He's not the type of man to mess with a married woman. Seems like they just had a friendship, but at the same time, there's not too many men that's gonna allow their wife to just actually go out there and have a friendship with a guy and be texting. Honestly, the texts look innocent, but it is what it is. Drop your opinions in that comment section. Let's jump straight into the words of Tyrese. Latest news to the social. Smack that like button on your way in. There is no way that any man will ever be able to disrespect me, especially my wife. So you sit with that for a second. And then, because I got so much love for First Lady, it's obvious that they had some pre-conversations before she jumped on and did the interview. I'm not on the radio, am I? Of course. Listen, guys, one of the most inconsistent, obvious parts of this whole thing is that you claim that I disrespected you and your wife, and then we've still been in touch for another four years on text chains and communicating directly. And your wife even mentioned that there's been times that while... Envy was laying in bed next to her. We were on the phone chopping it up about whatever. The disrespect had already happened. The alleged flirting and all the that you're claiming had already happened. So not only am I on the phone chopping it up and having good vibes and conversation, but you're now a man that's laying in the same bed with your wife who disrespected your wife. It's not adding up, bro. To all of the men, whether you're a husband, a boyfriend, a baby daddy, four years later, would you be okay with a man who is flirting and disrespecting your wife or have disrespected your wife allegedly talking on a call to your wife while you're laying in the bed? It ain't adding up, man. So let's just move on. And at no point was I ever a charity case. I went through and I've been through some shit, But nobody takes a phone call from me while their husband is in the same bed and I've crossed the line, said and did something inappropriate. And whoever this is that you talking about, saying he did that to me too, give that my direct cell phone number. Whoever the is. Because I don't run from no smoke, bro. I'm a man first. And there's just certain things you don't say and you don't do. And I know this all too well. I'm not a that grew up in the suburbs. I'm not a that grew up around people that don't understand black culture and the sensitivities of lines and boundaries and things that you don't cross. So at the end of the day, man, let's just stop talking about it. You're on your way to Atlanta in the next couple of days to DJ at some venue and event. If we want to be a man about this, because it all air, y'all been coming at me for five years on the Breakfast Club. I finally got a chance to go in there and not talk about you, but talk to you and Charlemagne. And I did think that the interview was something that it was like, oh, 
Everybody watching, looking, paying attention to what's going on. I'm clear about it. And I know that this is going to influence a lot of us as men to stop festering and and holding on to things or assuming this was said and done and, and get away from all of that goofy shit. Because in this life, I've learned people will talk about you, but never talk to you. And if you just talk to an if I said and did something, I'm never above an apology. I don't gaslight, I don't play victim, and I don't run from no smoke, especially if it's something that I said and did and caused. So when you get to Atlanta, I'll text you my address. Nobody's going to be around and no camera's going to be rolling. What do you got to say? What do you feel? What's on your mind that we never had an opportunity to chop it up about while we're on The Breakfast Club because there was only so much time to address it? But y'all ain't gonna keep coming at me on your show. And I'm not gonna keep responding on Instagram. You're on your way to my city, where I now live, the ATL. A real man will pull up which I've tried to get you to do at least seven times since you've been in and out of the city over the last four or five years. So do you feel a way about me or not? Nah? Did I disrespect or say anything or do anything inappropriate towards your wife, allegedly, or not? It's bull bro. Look, look what your wife just texted back and said, absolutely beautiful, talking about me purchasing an island in Turks and Caicos. That was August 23rd, 2023. Box you in the mouth. So what I want us to do is I want us to be adults. And I want us to leave the conversation alone. And I want you to go ahead and keep wrestling with what you're wrestling with, which is that brother went out of his way and he was there for me. And I've been laughing at him on my show. I've been talking. I've been throwing shots. I've been looking at the rumor report. We've been donkey in it a day in it. Read my captions and all my. Every time a guest come on your show, you say, hey, man, what's up with Tyrese? I'll be like, damn, Envy, why you trying to bait into talking about me? You did it to Ludacris. You did it to Tank. You be bringing my name up when people come on the show. And I'm like, what, what my bro? That's why I came into the show feeling the way. Why I'm on my Instagram? Because everything about what you said was on a public platform. And I'm addressing this publicly to let the world know. Your girl, your baby mama, your wife. Not envies, but anybody. You can leave me in a private room and you can secretly record the conversation. I will never disrespect another man's wife. That ain't who I am as a man. There's too many women out here to be out here messing with somebody if you know somebody that they used to. Like, come on, man. That's, you, that, that's integrity that you learn in the hood. Real is no. You can get your whole head caved in. For real. For another wife. <laughs> And I want to thank you very much for watching. It's your boy Andy Appleseed. Andy Appleseed TV is the name of the channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe, drop me a comment. We got the latest and greatest hip hop news commentary by your boy Andy Appleseed. It's going down. Live stream edits, you name it. Hit that like, catch me in the next video. Peace.